So this is the second video on calculating the effect of price controls and in this video I will focus more on price floors or minimum prices. Once again this is in the high level only component of the IB economics syllabus. Let's assume there's a demand function represented by QD equals 40 minus 5P and a supply function represented by QS equals 20 plus 5P. The equilibrium price in that case is $2 and the equilibrium quantity is 30 units. So if you calculated the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity by equating both functions, it will give you $2 and 30 units. Now, let's assume the government has decided to impose a price floor, a minimum price of $4. In this case here, the price floor is $4. All you need to do is substitute that price floor into the demand function. So QD equals 40 minus 5 times 4, it will give you 20 units. QS equals 20 plus 5 times 4, which will give you 40 units. Now to calculate the surplus, a surplus is basically excess supply. So you take the new quantity supplied after the price floor has been imposed and you subtract from it the new quantity demanded. So 40 minus 20 will give you a surplus or an excess supply of 20 units. And this is shown in the diagram here as the difference between the two points on the demand and the supply curves after the price floor is imposed. You may also be required to calculate the consumer expenditure or the producer revenue at equilibrium. Again, this is price times quantity, the equilibrium price times the equilibrium quantity. $2 times 30 units will give you $60 of revenue or consumer expenditure. It is this rectangle here that's shaded in red. Now, the consumer expenditure uh, will change once the price floor is imposed. Let's see how it will change. So this is how the consumer expenditure or the producer revenue will change at the price floor. The new consumer expenditure or producer revenue is basically calculated by multiplying the price floor, which is $4, multiplied by the quantity demanded, which is actually what the people will buy. Remember, there's an excess supply. So we're looking at the revenue that the producers will earn from selling. So that will depend on the quantity demanded. So you multiply $4 by 20 units, it will give you $80. And this is this area shaded here, the rectangle shaded in brown here. You can see that there has been an increase in the consumer expenditure by $20. And this is one of the reasons governments impose price floors, is to try and um, get more revenue for the producers. However, we mentioned that when a price floor is imposed, there is a surplus. And sometimes you might be asked to calculate the government expenditure to purchase that surplus. So we said that the surplus is represented by the difference between the demand curve and the supply curve at the price floor and we said that the surplus was 20 units so basically the government would purchase this at the price floor so the government expenditure here would be the price floor multiplied by the surplus quantity which will equal to 4 times 20 which is 80 dollars and the government expenditure is represented by this rectangle here that is shaded in green